So today we're going to use different, slightly different um, materials because um, it's going to be a different technique. Again, we will just sketch out with a pencil. So you need a pencil and an eraser. Um, and then personally, I am going to use ink today because we're going to do Rudy and the only two main colors are black and brown. Now, if you don't have ink, it's fine to use um, watercolors, okay? Um, and if you don't have watercolors, just use your normal uh, poster paints, water-based paints. Just make sure that you just um, add a lot of water to them and water them down so that they're quite transparent, okay? And same as before, we start with basic shapes. His head is a circle. And his body is a rectangle. Then you have another rectangle for each leg. One is going straight down, the other is coming out at a 90 degree angle. Okay. His arms are folded across the front of his chest, one over the other. Okay. This one is at a, an angle going up and over. This one is a little bit straighter. Okay. So that okay. line. One is straight down, and the other one bent at the knee, so pretty much a 90 degree angle, and just comes straight down, okay? Now the foot goes out like this, it's like a, uh, it's like a rectangle shape, but a bit narrower at the toes. Let's do Rudy's hair, he's got this great wild curly hair, I love his hair. So let's follow around the shape the circle for the head outside of that. We do lots of free sort of wobbly lines. Again he's kind of looking over this way so he is in profile. Okay let's do his ear. The side is just a letter C. Join the back there to the back of his neck. Now his eyes are circles just like we've done with the other Eco Heroes. Okay, and there's another circle inside of that. His nose is a curved line like that. And of course he looks very happy at himself. Next we will do the details of his body. His shoulders are not of course straight like the rectangle corner. You just round that off. This arm goes across in front of the other arm. So let's do this one first. Again, you do not see the details of the hand that's folded in behind, but you do see the other arm on the other side, the hand, sorry, on the other side. Okay, continue down on that rectangle. And again, there's an angle to the bottom. See that angle there? The line goes up because he's got his leg bent. So this hip is lower than this hip. Let's add the details to his legs. He's wearing his football shorts. And of course he's got his football boots on. So you can put studs in some stripes in, the sleeves as well, and his neck is a v-neck. Now let's add your wash or your ink. It's really fluid material to use, it's quite beautiful, so just be free and quite spontaneous with it. It's perfectly fine. In fact, it lends itself to actually um, painting outside the lines and even recreating or drawing new lines with, with the ink. Um, don't go too heavy with it in the beginning because you just, you can't go back from that. Okay, so try and um, build up um, your depths of, uh, of, of color. Okay, keep it quite transparent to begin with.
beauty um, and the ink wash is um, much more transparent as I said it's um, much more unforgiving than some other colouring materials that you could use even your poster paints um, because you can let that dry and you can overpaint it but with inks it's so transparent and so fluid that really you have to work quite spontaneously um, and you make mistakes all the time it's very very hard to cover over your mistakes so really I just want you to be free and don't worry about making mistakes okay because that's part of the process 